Hello everyone and welcome back to the project. So today, just as a start, I'm going to show you how I set up my viewport for the silhouette exercises. Okay, so I went in uh, solid viewport mode into the options and uh, modified the colors of the objects as well as the color of my background. And then, as you can see it here, my silhouette is correct, but the object doesn't really work in 3D. But once you are okay with your silhouette, what you can sometimes easily do, I'm taking a simple example here, but if it's a more complex object, of course it would require more time. You can see me copying both sides of this object, and then just quickly uh, have added a cube that I'm modeling to have the shape of the interior. And that would be basically what the object could look like at the end. But of course, then you can add as many details as you want on top of that. Okay? So now that this is done, we're gonna go to what is following. We said we would work on materials. So here is an image of all of them that I will provide to you to work with. I'm gonna give you this file to start with. So it's a simple setup. You only got one camera here and also a box and an object inside it on which you will apply all the materials. If I switch to render mode, this is what we get. Okay. And now, You've got a material, and this you can use to make it look like any of the ones on the image. And then, of course, this is just a few examples of the shaders I've created to get the final result. Okay? Uh, that's it. Huh? <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna show them a bit closer to you. From the top to the bottom, there are materials that are more and more complex, as you might have guessed. Okay, so you got things like plastic, metal things, some here are like chocolate, <laughs> material, car paint, clothes, self illuminating materials, glass, skin shaders, sand, uh, road, diamonds, dirt, lava material, a bubble material as well, planet material, a metal that you might have seen before, some wood, smoke, and then some kind of specific asset that will only work in some kind of render mode. Okay, so at the top here, you've got materials that will only use the three basic parameters for a material that I've already shown in my Blender Basic tutorial. You can watch it there. They are using the color, the metallic, and the roughness sliders. Then after that, in green, they are using all the other sliders of the principal DSDF that you find by default on any material. Okay, so if you switch to the standard normal material, this part you can use to create the materials from the two first rows. And then, last category, this one which is outlined in yellow, they will use much more complex setup where you will have to add custom nodes or to add more nodes to the shader editor. You can access the shader editor using this button and then if you want to use the add menu here, select a category Okay, and then choose the node that you would use as an input. This is a simple input, this is just a color input. It will replace 
the value from the principal BSDF. Then I can change my color here if I want to. Okay, and it's reflecting in the final render, of course, on the object. Okay, so here are all the materials again. I told you I would give you this image. I'm not gonna give you the materials because then it will be a bit cheating, but you can get them for a few dollars on my game mode. The link will be in the description. Next, let me just erase that to have a simple material. This is just what we got at the base, okay? You can give it a specific name and then if you go here in the tab above the render layers at the bottom bottom of it, you can select an override material and then select the basic one that you set up here, okay, so that all your objects exceptions in the scene will have this material. I'm going to give it just a shade of it more neutral, like in the middle, kind of gray. And then the goal here is to work on the lighting. Okay, here I have just my wall set up with a gray color and a strength of one, and I can now add light okay to make it look like a certain mood okay i'm gonna just change that to zero and if i modify the position of my light you can see it can create a lot of different mood this is like maybe a bit mysterious because we can't see what the entire object looks like this shows only its silhouettes and if I want to have something a bit more like nicer I can have this three point lighting setup that is also explained in the Blender Basics tutorials and also in more details in the Alchemix Workshop project you've got one video on the lighting and there's also a few videos for the materials that are a bit more complex that you can use to inspire you to create the materials for this part of this project okay and then looking at the lights of course you can change the type of light their places in orientation and also the size to make something a bit stronger and smoother Okay, and you can also adjust their colors to suit a certain mood. This switching to some kind of red and a green could make you feel a bit uneasy because red and green is they are like the color of something that's usually not right. And as an exercise, what I want you to do is to create at least six lighting scenarios based on a certain mood if you don't have any idea you can have a look at this it's called the blood chick wheel okay which is a list of emotions based on humans emotions okay this can be an inspiration to you to find an emotion or a certain mood that you want to use as a base for your lighting okay Otherwise, you can use the six basic human emotions, which are happiness, sadness, surprise, fear, anger, and disgust. Okay, if I want to, let's say, do another kind of lighting scenario, this maybe can inspire fear again because we can't see all of the objects and when you know sometimes when we want to scare some uh, young children we can uh, use uh, like a light on our face to be uh, more scary we lit our face from the bottom okay so i could have used like 
the word fear as an inspiration and then do some kind of like you know, from the bottom okay that is up to you and I'm continuing to do all these exercises of course so next there will be some kind of mood words that you can use like melancholy, bittersweet, nostalgic, dramatic, adventure, sentimental, humorous, romantic, weird or maybe horror as uh, keywords to help you find a mood that would inspire you to do this work. Okay, so that's it for today. Remember, there is the exercise for the materials, so do at least six of them. And of course, you can choose the difficulty level, again, based on your current skills. And of course, don't hesitate to challenge yourself. And then the lighting scenarios, choose at least also six moods, six different moods, and try to come up with the lighting that will express what those moods are in terms of lighting. Okay, so you've got all the keys, you've got everything you need. I wish you good luck for that. Uh, don't worry again if it's too complicated. That's just a step you have to go through before improving and uh, getting better and being able to do it all. So if you can't do the minimum of six, of course, there won't be any problem. Just do at least one. If you're really a beginner and of course you can always go back to my previous playlist where I can explain more in details how to lead a scene and how to create materials. So take care everyone, have a very good day, have a very good week as usual and see you later, bye!